Okay, what I'm doing today is <clears throat> I have a single switch here and I need to make it into a double. So what I'm gonna do is so I've got this outlet box and um, I'll put a link to these in the description, but um, they're made for remodel so that when you put them in a hole, these things will flip up and grab the back of the wall um, so that it holds it in place for you. But the, what this video is about is how to get this thing out of here because this can be hard to get these out um, <clears throat> once they're put in there and you've got sheetrock around it. So first thing you got to do, of course, is turn your power off. And, you know, it, I'm not talking about wiring this or anything like that today. So, uh, you know, if you're uncomfortable with electricity, this project might not be for you. But um, all I, the whole point of this is just to try to give you an idea of how you can get this box out uh, relatively easily and get this switched out um, to this box right here. So first thing we're going to do is take this and get it lined up with that one and get it straight like that and then just mark you're not going to cut out where these tabs are because that's what actually holds it in place but we're going to mark all the way around it I think I was actually a little high. Let me drop back down. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and our sides are still good. So I'm just gonna drop down a little bit lower right there. Okay. You can use a utility knife to cut through this. You'll just have to keep, you'll score it and score it and score it and just keep scoring it until you get cut all the way through. I'm gonna use this. Um, knife. It's kind of like a keyhole saw, but it's much heavier. Um, and it just ma it makes cutting through sheetrock very easy and very quick. Now this will make a pretty <clears throat> pretty good mess, so I'm going to take a file folder right here. And then I'm going to hold this bottom edge, edge up a little bit like this, just to keep from making such a big mess. Now one of the benefits of these saws is um, they're really stiff, and so you can come in here and you can drive it in and get a start. And I'll try to find these saws and link one in the description for you in case you're interested in that too. Right there. Now I'll go ahead and turn that corner. And again, this is where these saws come in handy. They just, you can just shove them in. pieces out. And if you look down here, you can see I caught almost all of the trash. Yeah, I'll show you down here on the floor. See, I got just a few crumbs down there. Okay. All right, now the tricky part is getting this out. Now, there's two ways. To, there's usually two nails that are driven in, and I can see the nails sitting right here. There's kind of two ways to do this. You can stick a screwdriver in here. behind that there's a two by four right here behind this sheetrock and then you can pry that out now just like that okay and now my uh, my box as you can see is free so what I need to do now, it might have been easier if I had done this before, we'll go ahead and take this switch out and get all my wires loose so that they'll pull out the back. Okay, so you just have to work the wires out the back. All right, now what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna tuck these back in here for just a second and I wanna make sure that my box will fit. <clears throat> Because one of the things about these boxes is they have this little part right here where this flips up and so you have to make a little notch for this to fit in there sometimes. I'm going to bring this back and I've got a little more, <clears throat> a little more cutting I'm going to do. I need to clean this side off a little bit. Okay. 
You want to be careful you don't whittle these out too big. Okay, that's going to be perfect. So you see how these tabs are still sitting on top of the sheetrock and the box is fitting in the hole, so I'm just right. All right, so now I've got my new, my new wire run and so I need to get my wires put back in here and you kind of break out a couple of places in the back and these little lever ones, I just tear them out when I'm doing this because it makes it much easier. So, all right, and then push it up nice and tight. And then you start tightening these screws right here. And when you do, those little levers will flip up and hold it in place. sucked up tight and then we'll do the bottom. Just be sure you push it in good and tight. Okay and now my box is in there good and tight. Now if for some reason you had come in here and tried to pry this off with the screwdriver like we did in the beginning and you weren't having success you can take one of these. It's a it's just a hacksaw with a blade shoved in it. It's a handle with a bl hacksaw blade shoved in it. And you can run that along the side and you can cut those nails off and that'll free up this box too. So that's an option for you sometimes too. But again, make sure you got the power off so that you're not cutting through the insulation and shorting this out. All right, so now I just gotta get this wired up and I'll be back. Okay, that's got it wired back up. Got my lights back. All right, so that's how you can go from just a single into a double uh, box so that you can run two switches or two outlets or whatever it is that you need to do. All right, hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.